In this lecture, we'll take a look at the demo of Cloud Natural Language API. So go to cloud.google.com, make sure you're in the right account, otherwise click on the top right corner here to change your account. Let's go to console, click on go to console. So for this demo, we need to turn on the Natural Language API. So let's go to APIs and Services Library search for natural uh, and here you can see cloud natural language api let's click on that and let's enable it now this is another one where you can use this programmatically using the google cloud sdk but for simplicity we are just going to use the cloud shell so click on activate cloud shell and the command is very simple. It just is just one line. As you can see here, it's gcloud ml language analyze entities and content equals. We are giving a text here, Michelangelo Caravaggio, I think um, that's the correct way to pronounce it. Italian painter is known for the calling of Saint Matthew. That's pretty much the text. I'm just copy pasting this directly so as to avoid um, typing issues and uh, this is also there in the resources uh, if you want to just use this or you can put any other text you want just make sure it is some famous person known for some famous thing maybe the Wright brothers are known for the first uh, manned flight or, or something like that and let's paste this here make sure it's all in one line and let's see what the results are and let me just maximize this and scroll up and here you can see so it is clearly understanding that michelangelo is a painter and it's also giving a wiki link to michelangelo you can click on this go to the wiki link that's pretty cool italian so we mentioned that he's an italian painter so it's identifying it Ital italy as a location uh content the calling of saint matthew so again it's uh, giving a wiki link to the calling of saint matthew even though the wiki link is slightly different as you can see it's still able to uh point to this and it's it's a it's an event so the calling of saint matthew i believe is a is, is a paint paint a famous painting that he did so uh, it's it's an event so as you can see obviously you can just type some text here and look at these things uh, and it is giving different um, in in addition to uh, these these categorizations it's also giving other things like when it is beginning the offset at what point in the text here uh, the salience or the quality of uh, of uh, of uh, the api um, the natural language api what it's uh, determining the qualities something like confidence level so many things are there and of course in a shell you can only see but programmatically if you use an sdk or any other language you can pass texts get the results and then use it uh, programmatically so there's no cleanup required for this um, so we can close the shell and always good practice just to go back to the project just to make sure that no resources were created in a bucket or anything. So that was a quick demo of